Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogram.com. I'm answering some email here. I got this, this email that I thought I would I would answer. And I'm also saving some bandwidth because I'm in a low bandwidth connection. So I'm, I'm doing it with this webcam so that the total file size will be smaller for those of you that are wondering. But the show must go on. I must record videos, not ignore my duties. I'm also sick. But again, no excuses, right? No letting yourself off the hook. Show must go on. Hey, I just want to give a quick thanks to one of our sponsors of Simple Programmer, which is Dev Mountain Bootcamp. You should go check them out. The link is in the description. They are a coding bootcamp and they can teach you web development, iOS development, UX design, a lot of good stuff. I get a lot of feedback from a lot of you out there that email me and have told me about Dev Mountain, so I decided to check them out myself. And I, I like what I found. I like their programs. They offer uh, some 12 week intensive programs. They also offer some after hours programs, which I know that some of you will like. So go check them out you can see the link in the description below dev mountain boot camp and a big thank you to them for sponsoring simple programmer so they got this email it says hey john i was watching your self-evaluation video you put up recently maybe we can cue that up over where is it this direction no this direction there we go that's backwards it's really hard to point the opposite direction okay um and i was wondering if you think it's a wise idea to not put 100% effort into my day job in order to have more energy to devote to my online business uh, in the evenings. As you know, the online business is my long-term play for me. Thanks, as always, for the help, man. So I don't think I personally identified anyone here. Okay, good. Uh, here's the thing. Okay, this is my... I, I was just going to do a short answer to this. I still, It probably won't be too long, but here's the short answer. How you do anything is how you do everything. So... While I would like to say that you could not put 100% effort into your day job in order to have more energy to put into your online business, if you're not giving 100% of the day job, the kind of job that you're doing at your day job, you're not going to be able to do it on your online business. And I know that some of you are shaking your head in disagreement and saying, no, that doesn't make sense, John. If I if I put less effort into the day job and cheat the boss a little bit, uh, you know, and then, uh, then I can spend more effort on my stuff. In theory, yes. But the kind of effort that you put in will suffer, right? If, if you are willing to lower your standards and you're willing to not do the best working for someone else, you're not going to do the best working for yourself. How you do anything is how you do everything. I did a video on this when I was in London. Oh, look at me, my pointing skills. They're, well, okay, I just, there, there we go. They're pretty good now. But you can watch that video and you can pay attention to the spit on my lip after I just ran, if that's what you're concerned about. But but, but the point is this, right? It, it really comes down to, it, there's, there's a couple of things at, at play. The, the first one, again, to get, I, I like to try to abstract away the morality of, of a thing for us to just give you the practical of it, which is that, like I said, if you think that you're going to give less than 100% effort during your day job, and then you think that you're going to go home and work with 100% effort on whatever else, you, you're not. Because if you're lazy, if you're a slacker, if you are a sandbagger, if you're not giving your all, it's going to carry over in every area of your life, right? It, it, at the same time, if you're exceptional, if you're pushing it hard, if you have high standards in one area of your life, that's going to carry over as well. It's, it's really hard to live a double life like that because it's it's really going to come down to that that basic principle. So even morality aside, even if you could get away with it, should you? No. I mean, could you get away with it potentially? Could you still like to devote more time to your your side job? Could you take some of the hours that you're supposed to be at work and and work on your side job? Yeah, you could. Have I ever done that? Of course I have. I mean, I'm not I'm not perfect, right? But I have noticed that when I do that, that the whole the whole thing suffers, right? That that it's it's not the it's not the way. And and again, I always talk about this as well as as a secondary principle is. It's not just achieving the goal, it's how you achieve the goal, right? I did a video a while back, which YouTube demonetized because I talked about steroids, but I, I talked about why I don't use steroids and why I never will. And it's simply because I want to earn what, what I got. I did another video on, do I deserve it? About fat people walking marathons. <laughs> and, and again, I think a lot of people missed the point of that video, which was not to bag on people walking marathons or to bag on fat people. But what was to say is that, I think someone said in the comments, I said, 
what he's talking about is me and you being the fat people walking the marathon. Like, and that's what I was talking about, which is, do you want to get something that you don't deserve? I don't, I don't want to get something I don't deserve. I know a lot of us think that we'd want to get things that we don't deserve, but in reality, your enjoyment of it will, will be short lived because if you haven't earned it, if you don't deserve it, you, you're not going to, you're not going to find as much, as much enjoyment out of it, right? So it'll be an empty victory. And so the same thing here, right? If you end up cheating your day job to build your side business, uh, you know, you, you're going to, you're going to have, you're going to kind of have that, that feeling, that guilt that you're going to, you're going to feel like you didn't really do it. You didn't really earn it so much. So I would, I would highly recommend not doing that. Now, the other thing I'll, I'll say about this now to get on the more moralistic standpoint of this is that I don't think, you know, a lot of you, you, you watch my videos and you know that I talk about building a side business and how important it is and how you shouldn't give your employer more than the hours that, you know, the 40 hours a week or whatever is your salary or, or the, the hours that, that you're paid to work. You shouldn't be working without being paid and you shouldn't be taken advantage of. You should be using the time for you. So I think naturally some of you might think that, hey, if you could work less hours than you're being paid for, that wouldn't that be great? Well, that's, again... I, I don't I don't agree with that either, right? If you're being paid for working 40 hours, work 40 hours and give it your best, give it your all, right? I'm not condoning, you know, dripping your employer or sandbagging a job in order to build your side business. Again, it, it's it's again, it's another one of those cases of the means not justifying the, the or the ends not justifying the means, right? Just just because you can do something, right? I mean, I can make a lot of money robbing banks or being a gigolo or <laughs> or selling porn links on my website, right? But that's that's not a good idea. It's it's not uh, it's it's not the, the the it's not about just the ends. It's not just about making a lot of money. It's about how you make that money. So if you end up cheating someone who's paying you and, and think about it, I mean flipping the tables, right? If you were paying someone to do a job, you know, would you want them to be cheating you out of out of time? Again, I'm I'm not I'm not accusing anyone here. I'm just saying like, you know, what you've agreed on, right? It's important to hold, to hold yourself accountable to principles, especially to your own principles. So if you hold the principle that it's important that you do the work that you're paid for, then you need to hold to that principle. If you hold the principle that you think it's important that you deliver on what is paid for, you need to hold to that principle. And so you're going to find it really hard, again, to be du dupli duplicious, duplicious, du Duplicious, du, duplicious, du, duplicious, duplicious. I don't know. Dupalicious. We're going to call it dupalicious. That's my new word. Dupalicious. That means when you have duplicity, <laughs> you're dupalicious. Dupalicious is not delicious. That's what I'm saying. Is that you're going to find it really hard to to de, be dupalicious and and in and maintain your life, right? Because if you're holding those principles, if you're holding other people accountable to a certain set of principles, yet you don't hold yourself accountable to those same principles, you're gonna crack, you're gonna crumble. It, it's it's a recipe for disaster. So yeah, it makes sense, I think, you know, logically to say, okay, well, maybe I won't put a hundred percent effort into my day job and I'll have more time and more energy to devote to my online business. But in the end, that spells disaster. It's not a good idea. I don't recommend it at all. Now, what I do recommend, what I tell people all the time to sort of combat this, because let's be honest here, right? Let's be practical and pragmatic at the same time, which is that at the end of working your day job, you know, at the end of the day, you have less energy and, and less ability left over to give your 100%. You're not giving as much effort as you, as you could when you start the day. When is the freshest time of the day? At the beginning of the day. So it's not, I, I think, it doesn't violate any principles of mine to wake up earlier and spend the first, the best hours of my day paying myself first. I talk about this a lot, but pay yourself first with the time, with those hours. So if you want to start a side business, if you want to work on something for yourself, which I recommend that you do, instead of robbing your employer of time, instead of not giving your best effort, instead just give, take those best hours, your, your first hours of the day, and use them for yourself, and then go and do your job and work the hours that you're, you're supposed to work, right? And yes, are you going to have a slightly diminished output at your work? Possibly, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be intentional. It's You're still going to be giving it the, the best effort that, that you can, but it's just how you've prioritized the time, if, if that makes sense, right? I think that 
and, and again, the key thing is that you're doing the job that you're paid for, right? So whatever is expected of you, what you've agreed upon, what you've shook hands upon, you know, what if you can, you need to be able to deliver what you've agreed upon. Now, for some people, some jobs, right? For some jobs, and I've been in jobs like this, and I've hired people for jobs like this. It depends on on what the context is. For some jobs, what is expected of you is to get the job done, not to work a certain number of hours, not to put in so much time or anything like that. And so if you happen to be in one of those positions, then yeah, then maybe you're working 30 hours at your regular job because you can get all the work done, that all everything that's expected of you, and maybe even a little bit extra on top within that time, and you can spend that extra time working on your own side project or working for yourself. Again, this is between you, the employer, and your principles, and what you've decided upon, and what's been shook on, and what's been agreed upon to, to sort that out. But the higher level principle of this whole entire thing is, is like I said at the very beginning, is how you do anything is how you do everything. If you are shortcutting, if you are jipping, if you are trying to pull one over on someone and not put in the maximum effort. Not if you're, if you're lowering your standards at your regular job, you're going to lower your standards in your business or you're going to be violating a principle of yours, which is going to cause the whole thing to crumble because you're, the principles are going, to think, are going to be the things that are going to hold you, that are going to sustain you when other things don't and when, when, you, when you're struggling, right? Because you'll know that you, you've stuck to your guns. And also, they're the things that are going to make it so that when you do get that payday, when you do get that rainbow at the end of the – or that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow – that you're actually going to be able to enjoy it because you'll know that you actually earned what you got. It wasn't given to you. You didn't steal it or swindle it. That's really, really important. And people don't think about that until hindsight. Once you've gotten the pot of gold, you know, and you know people like this. That's the other thing I'll say about this. And then I'll wrap this up because it's already going to be a long upload now. Uh, thanks a lot, John. <laughs> but the, the point is, you know people like this who have gotten their pot of gold at the end of the rainbow but because they've earned it in the wrong way, they spend the rest of their life trying to make up for it. They spend the rest of their life feeling like a fraud. They spend the rest of their life feeling undeserving, uh, feeling in debt, trying to prove that they actually are entitled to or have earned or worthy of what they've been given, what they've gotten in an unscrupulous way. And so they're working their way out of debt their entire life. You don't want to be that. You want to have earned it the right way in the first place so that you can be proud of it, so you can go on to the next thing and realizing that it's all about developing yourself, not about just increasing your bank account or increasing the size of your massive guns. Can't even do that on the video. But that's 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 secondary. All right. If you like this video, if you, if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know. I don't know what's up. But uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.